So how many sides does a regular nonagon have? So this actually goes back to my previous video of um, shapes again. So let me I'm gonna have to re rewrite this. So how many sides does a regular nonagon have? So when we talk about polygons, again, we have these prefixes, right? So remember, um, so polygons are uh, basically shapes with uh, are closed shapes, right? With uh, their sides have to be uh, more than three, right? So if I have a three-sided shape, or I have a triangle, right? And kind of, I did kind of this list um, back in my previous video. Four sides would be a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. Uh, five sides is obviously a pentagon or a pentagon. Six here would be a hexagon. Seven is a heptagon. Eight is an octagon. And finally, nine here is a nonagon, right? And then if I want 10 as a decagon. So again, uh, how, how how many sides does a regular nonagon have? This here would equal nine, right? Nine, there's nine sides to a nonagon. And again, these prefixes help me a lot, right? Non, uh, non here is a prefix of nine, right? Uh, tri here is three, quad here is four, penta is five, hexa is six, hepta is seven, Octa is eight, nana is nine, and deca here is ten, right? So these prefixes tell us that how, there's how many sides in this in the regular nonagon here. And when we talk about regular nonagon, it means that like what does regular mean? Regular means that all sides have same length. So uh, all nine sides have the same length. If all uh, if if all sides have different lengths, it would be a irregular nonagon here. So this in in case uh, how many sides does a regular nonagon have? It has nine equal sides. So the answer here would be uh, nonagon has oh, has nine equal sides. So the solution here, again, they kind of did the same thing as me, where I, I kind of did a little graph here, um, and they broke it down to prefixes, which is good. Answer, nonagon has nine sides here. So this here, this this uh, the solution here is correct. And again, regular nonagon just means that it's a nonagon with all sides are equal to each other. So they're equal in length to each other. Great solution and analysis. So this is number six, and this question here is correct. Thank <laughs> you.